Okay, so there was a little village in a faraway land, um, a land called Gloucestershire. And in this village, there was this great, beautiful little meadow. Um, and it was full of fairy rings. And that was because the fairies loved to come and dance there on full moon nights. And they'd come out from the wild woods and they'd dance in these great circles and leave the fairy rings as a, as a reminder to the villagers that they'd been there. For centuries, this field was undisturbed, unplowed, until uh, one day, a farmer drove past this little field and looked at it. While all the other fields around about were covered in corn, this field was green as, um, well, as green could be. And so, because he was not a particularly nice farmer, he was filled with a sense of frustration at the laziness and waste of this piece of, piece of, piece of grass um, covered in you know, buttercups and daisies and clover and other lovely things. And was so infuriated by it that he resolved to go and fix this problem immediately. So he drove off to the village hall um, and immediately went to the parish clerk and bought the land outright. And the, uh, because of all the mysterious things that were reputed to go on with this field, the parish was quite glad to be rid of it. So the farmer, with the deeds in hand, he went straight back to his farmyard, got his tractor with the, with the plough on the back, and ploughed this field from one end to the other. That night, a wind blew up from the wild wood and blew across towards the field. And a couple of little clods of earth, really just tiny specks really, were caught up in it and were blown across the surface, rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. And as they rolled, they got bigger and bigger and bigger until they were as big as tar barrels. And then they reached the road. And as they, when they hit the road, the clods of earth started falling from their sides until eventually these figures emerged from the earth and they were two handsome young men. And they made straight for the farm. And in the farmyard, they found the handsome son and the handsome daughter of the farmer, of which he was very proud because they were beautiful. And uh, the two men from the field came up and started chatting up the daughter and the son. One whose hair was brown as chocolate went up to the farmer's son and complimented him on his, on his, on his pretty blue eyes and uh, chatted to him as he repaired the tractor which had just mown the field. And the other, whose hair was as gold as the summer sun was chatting to the girl and complimented her on her pretty red dress and her pretty red lips and her pretty red hair so they sat and they chatted and they and they and they wooed and they did as lo as young lovers tend to do and they headed off into the distance and the farmer's wife saw them go and was quite pleased that her two children had attracted the attention of two such handsome illustrious looking men so, when the farmer returned from market to realise that both his children had gone and these two mysterious young men had spirited them off, he suddenly remembered all the old tales and stories that he'd heard about the field and heard about the fair folk. And so he got in his, he got in his Land Rover and he drove off. And as he did so, he noticed along the road there were these little marks of muddy boot prints. And uh, he got to the field, but all that was left were two little mounds of earth in the, right in the middle where the dancing lawn had been and his daughter's dress hanging from the hedge. Now, people might say that this is folklore, but one thing that has always been said since then in that little village is that that field, ever since that point, was covered in pretty, the prettiest blue cornflowers that you ever saw with the prettiest red poppies and the grass that grew there was as gold as the summer sun and the ground was as brown as the mouths of rivers. So, which, all, which always goes to show, I suppose, that even if the fae take you away, you're never gone for good. Even if you're gone forever. <laughs>